Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Zaratian. I welcome you to my design studios. This is where all the creative inspiration and ideas come from. Today, we're gonna go in my workshop area and I'm gonna show you some fun summer ideas of making beautiful floral arrangements. So today, we're starting off with a watermelon. This is gonna be our container. First, I'm gonna slice this in half. Then I'm gonna take the watermelon and give it a slight cut so that it can stay flat on the table. After I do that, I'm gonna take my greens and I'm gonna cut. Watermelon is actually filled with water, so I'm gonna use this as my base. After I get all my greens in here, I will start putting in the flowers. I love hosted leaves too because it has a little bit of texture and greenery. So now I'll start with a little bit of berries. And I usually start my arrangement starting from the outer into the center of the arrangement. And I'm actually using it in different heights so that way we can get a little bit of movement. Now I'm gonna start with my proteas, the pincushion proteas. And I actually like to do things in groupings because it has more of an impact. And I'm also gonna take kiwi, I know, right? And I'm gonna slice it in half. And this happens to be a yellow kiwi. I love the coloration on this. And I'm gonna take wooden skews and yank them in the arrangement like so. And then I'm gonna take my anthurium. Actually, there's different colorations, but I think I'm gonna go with a darker red, just more richer. And I'm actually gonna take it in like so, but one up here and one right here. Look at that, look how gorgeous this is turning out to be. And then I'm gonna take some Cymbidium orchids, which is almost like the coloration of the kiwi, and yank it in there. And I'm actually taking the stem and cutting it in an angle where I can start using these orchids in a really fun and multiple ways. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of hot paint because I love bright, bold colors for the summer. So much fun. These are coxcombs. And what you need to do is clean out the foliage, like so. And even when you're using it for fresh arrangements inside of water, you wanna make sure all the foliages are clean and um, they're not below the water. Otherwise, it would rot. I can actually take this, like so, and do wind insertion. And look at how gorgeous this arrangement is. For more information on my tutorials, go to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you later.